Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Need for Speed Payback on the GeForce GTX 750Ti For FPS monitoring I'll be using Cam If you want to download the software there's a link down in the description And if you enjoy the content and want to support the channel directly There are Humble and Amazon affiliate links down in the description as well So Need for Speed Payback I'll be doing 1080p, 900p and 720p To skip to those sections of the video check the description below So first I'll show you 1080p trying to be over 30 frames per second Since being at 60 frames per second both on 1080p or 900p for me at least was impossible So my target was 30 frames per second. For 1080p I overclocked the GTX 750 Ti. For the rest of the resolutions, 900p and 720p, I disabled the overclock. And for 1080p you'll see that the cars have no shadows at night. That's due to the shadow quality option that I use which is low. If you want to use medium, you have uh, some drops below 30 frames per second at night. So keep that in mind. If you don't mind dropping below 30 frames per second at night when going very fast through the map, just put it on medium, but my objective here was to be over 30 frames per second as much as possible. Then on 900p with the overclock disabled, I use a little higher settings, I enable ambient occlusion, I use better shadows, all that kind of stuff, and the game was over 30 frames per second pretty well. There were some drops here and there, but I'll talk about performance and stuttering and all that kind of stuff later in the video. And well, finally at 720p, first I show you a little higher settings than on 900p, obviously a lower resolution is uh, less of a hit to the GPU. And then I lower the settings to the minimum, trying to stay close to 60 frames per second, if you want a smoother experience on 720p for example. And well, that's pretty much it. I didn't use a better CPU because it didn't make much of a difference, the GPU wasn't that strong to justify a better CPU, but if you have a better CPU, just expect the game to be more consistent, the stutters won't be as intensive, they'll allow you to have more control when a stutter happens, plus on 720p low settings you'll get like 10 FPS more, so keep that in mind, but yeah guys, now I'm going to talk to you about the options menu and the performance. So before talking about the options menu and the options in it, I need to point some stuff out about the testing methodology, you'll see that I'm testing one of the first areas of the game, away from the city, but then you get a night race onto the city with a very fast car. Well, what I found out while playing the game was that most of the drops that I experienced were when going below bridges at night. That's because the bridges below them, they have some light sources that make the car produce shadows and all that kind of stuff. And that was a big hit to the frame rate, apparently. And if there are more cars on screen, it generates even more shadows. That's why I just dropped there. So that compared to daytime, for example, wasn't as intensive because there are less light sources. Particles plus many light sources plus many cars on screen means high CPU usage and, well, a lot of GPU usage as well. That's why I tested this area. There are cars just crashing against stuff, which means particles Particles. Then when you're drifting you also generate particles and well you have many light sources there because it's nighttime and some cars on screen. So that was my worst case scenario because it uses a lot of CPU and a lot of GPU. And one very weird thing that I noticed was that the game stutters quite a bit on some very specific parts. The part when you just after you jump through the ramp and go into the street and the police starts chasing you. That's a scripted event but once the police shows up the game starts to stutter in the same places, but it seems to stutter just before the police cars show up. So when a police car is supposed to show up, the game just stutters. It seems that the police car is just being loaded into memory, just from one second to another, and that makes the game stutter. I tried better CPUs and this still happened, but the stutter is even worse if you have a worse CPU. It seems to be storage plus CPU dependent. When I used the G4560 on my videos, the stutters were unbearable. I mean, I could even lose control of the car due to that big stutter. But then when I go to the Ryzen 3 1200 with a 3.9GHz overclock, the stutter is still there, yeah, but it's not as bad. I mean, it's still manageable. I'm not saying it's okay, this is unacceptable. I even put 16GB of RAM on all my videos on this game to show you that that's not a RAM issue, it's a CPU and storage issue, apparently. The game can use more than 8GB of RAM, but if you have 8GB, don't worry, you should be fine. But so far you'll see around 8GB or 8.1GB free, that means that from 16GB we have 
7.9 8GB free in some instances, in the worst cases, so don't worry too much about the RAM. Uh, well, now talking about the options menu, the thing that gave me the worst performance so far was Shadows. Shadows on Ultra is way too demanding compared to High, so if you want to get better performance or significantly better performance, lower Shadows from Ultra to High, then restart the game because sometimes those changes don't apply. And after you restart the game, you'll see a massive boost in performance with shadows on high instead of ultra. Then, I mean, occlusion, you have many options as well. I recommend using HBAO. It's not a huge difference in performance, but it's a noticeable one. Then on the texture quality option, I saw, for example, on the 1050 Ti, that's a four gig card, that the textures had trouble loading. They took a lot of time to load. So I use high textures instead of ultra and the textures loaded way quicker. So if you have a four gigabyte video card, I recommend using high. If you have more than four gigs, use ultra on textures. If you have two gigs, I'll use medium or low. Just try it out and see how it goes. But restart the game after changing that setting. Then post process quality, effects and geometry should give you a good boost, but it's not as significant as the other options. Usually post-process quality and effects are a big hit when they are lowered together. And I didn't see much of a difference with terrain and vegetation quality lowered. But that's because I was in the city when you're in the wilderness, for example, a place with a lot of foliage and all that kind of stuff. Terrain and vegetation quality makes a difference. But yeah, not much else to say. I'm very disappointed with this. This has to be fixed. Just due to scripted stuff, we get drops in the frame rate, those stutters. That's it for now. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.
We've only got one shot at this. Once you hit that jump, there'll be no turning back. Mac, I'm coming up on the rendezvous. You better be in position. I'm almost there. Almost? Mac? Light her up on Florida. Trust me. This is it, guys. Don't mess this up. One launch pad coming up. Houston, we have liftoff. Jump a $2 million hypercar. Check. Can I mention again how much I hate you? That's our paycheck you're driving, Morgan. Get that car to wrap. Silver Conan Dagger Garrett. Vehicle is of extremely high value. back to me right now. You mad? Oh, he mad. We got them. They're a billionaire throw. One out of 13 has resumed for Jess, where are you? Yeah. 